Welcome to Particle Shop 1.1. Today we're going to review the user interface with you. And right now I'm working in Photoshop, but Particle Shop also works with Corel Draw, Photo Paint, Paint Shop Pro, and Photoshop Elements. When you're working in Photoshop, we highly recommend that you go to the Arrange menu and you ensure that instead of working in floating windows, that you have your windows tiled. And you'll know that they are when you see them tabbed at the top here. And this is just so that when you go to launch Particle Shop, Particle Shop is not blocked. So step one, make sure that your windows are tiled. Step two, come to your layer and duplicate the layer because we now allow you to work in non-destructive layer format. And whatever layer that you duplicate this will be replaced with brush strokes. So I'm going to take this background copy into Particle Shop. We'll go ahead and launch this up here. And we'll take a tour through the UI. Now before I launch Particle Shop, it's reminding me here to create a copy of the layer or object that I want to work with. So I'll go ahead and launch. We've already done that. And the first time that you launch Particle Shop, you'll be greeted by this welcome screen here. And this is just showing you the variety of additional brushes that we have available for purchase. You can preview some imagery created with the brushes and also the individual brush strokes. And you can go to purchase right now if you want to. So I'll go ahead and close that down. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually zoom in on my image here a little bit. So up on the top, I can use the zooming. I'll go ahead and change this to 300 so we've got a nice large preview. And once we're inside a particle shop, I have additional brush packs installed, but you will begin with the starter pack. And that's 11 brushes for you to get started with. And it's actually one sample brush from each one of the additional packs that we sell. There's no duplication in the brushes at all, so no need to worry about that. Now if we come over to the left, this is where our toolbar is. And right now I've got my brush tool. And we also have the fabric brush selected. So I can either use the color wheel, and I just launch that by tapping right here. Outside is the hue, inside is saturation or value. I can mix up a color that I would like to paint with. We can also pin the color wheel down. So if I want to click the pin right here, that will ensure that the color wheel will stay in this location while I'm working in Particle Shop. So now I can begin to create with my fabric brush. We see this really beautiful wispy fabric up on the property bar. I can choose to size the brush. Now these icons that you see right here with the pressure or the pen, these will allow you, you can turn these on and off. I happen to be working with the Wacom Intros Pro tablet. So I can allow my brush strokes to change with pressure, the size of them. And then we also have brush opacity. You will have these two options for every brush that you select. Depending upon the type of brush that you choose to work with, you may have additional options on the property bar. Now if we take a look back over at the toolbar, I'm going to click on the eraser, and this will allow me to erase a portion of the stroke that I've already created on the page. If I don't like how I've erased that, we have up to 32 levels of undo and redo. So you can use the undo and redo right here. Now if I come all the way over to the left, this is going to reset the entire document back to its, its original state. So it would completely remove any brush strokes that I had placed out on the page. Next, we have the Blender. And this is much like the Painter Blender tool. It will allow me to subtly blend some of my brush strokes. Go ahead and undo that. Next we have the eyedropper. So if I want to select the eyedropper, I can now come out and select colors from within the document that I would like to paint with. So let's grab another brush. I'm going to use the flame brush and we've got a nice orange there. We'll go ahead and throw some flames out there. So we've got beautiful flames and fabric, but what else can we do? Now I'm going to select the, the light brush, and this particular brush allows you to apply a grainy texture. So if we take a look up on the top here, I'm going to bump up the texture slider, and then we'll take a look at the variety of paper textures that we provided for you. So let's select this dot pattern, 
and I'll go ahead and put a light burst out on the page here and what we can see is it is actually incorporating that texture within the stroke and you can change these on the fly as you're working. So that's an example of an additional option that you have to play around with. Let's go ahead and grab our smoke and we will just maybe throw a little smoke coming along with the fire there. Now if I select the fur brush, this brush will allow me to adjust my variability. So if we come and let's say maybe I'm going to grab kind of a, a pink sort of color here and we begin to paint with this fur brush, you can see right now it's painting with 100% color. If I want to undo that and I now come and I adjust my value variability, we increase this, let's maybe increase that all the way, we'll see that it now incorporates a variety of different values within the brush stroke. And if I zoom in here, you'll really be able to see this furry texture. And I'm just pressing the space bar in order to pan the document. So if I press lightly, it does a very subtle value variability incorporation. And it's going to be 50% value of what you see inside of the value triangle right here. All right, so that is our brief introduction to Particle Shop user interface. Let's go ahead and zoom out. Now, if I'm ready to save the work that I have done here, I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And it's going to ask me, would you like to merge the brush strokes with the source content? So remember, we selected this paintbrush girl as a layer to bring in. I can choose to merge the strokes with her, or I can save only the brush strokes. And when we come back, what we'll see, if I turn off the background layer that actually had the image, now we can see just the brush strokes on the layer itself. Now, if I wanted to continue to work with both the strokes that I've already created and the background layer, I would select both of those and we'll duplicate both of these layers. And before I bring them back into Particle Shop, I'm going to merge the content. Now when we come back in and we launch Particle Shop, we're going to have all of the content that we just created to now work with again inside of Particle Shop. And as we begin to add brush strokes, let's maybe do a little space over on the left here and I'll zoom out so that you can see what I've just done. I click to save. When I come back it is only going to save all of the content that I brought in which was the girl and the strokes has now been replaced with just the space stroke that I created. Let's go back in one more time and I'm just going to select the stroke that we just created. So now you can see that's all that's been brought into Particle Shop. And to finish things off, I just want to point out in the bottom left hand corner here, there is a question mark. And if you'd like to preview our online help, you can do so right from within Particle Shop. And that is the Particle Shop user interface.